Welcome back to the second half of tonight's prom, featuring the BBC Philharmonic Orchestra. Um, I'm delighted to be joined by the conductor of tonight's concert, Vernon Valgado. Uh, Vernon, congratulations on the Wagner and the Tchaikovsky in the first half. <laughs> they were really loud. Um, <laughs> tell us a bit about the highlight of the show tonight, Hayden's 45th Symphony in F, hashtag minor. <laughs> Hashtag, uh, yes, the, the, the Farewell Symphony, a, a perennial favourite for audiences. Hayden was a bit ahead of his time, wasn't he, writing a piece with hashtags in? Right, yes, those um, hashtags, like, like in F, hashtag, minor, are, are the symbols we use to help the musicians know what, what, what to do in, in the piece. Well, I looked at some of the instructions the violin people have in front of them, and... <laughs> It looks like there's quite a lot of hashtagging they have to do. Um, does the use of phones in a piece like this distract the band? No, well, it's... Um, perhaps, perhaps I should explain that there are no phones in the... Uh, look, look you're, you're, you're right in, in one respect about Hayden... Hayden or, ha or Hayden, as, as he liked to pronounce it. He, w he was um, very ahead of his time. His expansion of sonata form paved the way for Beethoven, for example. Oh, was he the blind one? I, th I think you're thinking of Delius. No, nope, never heard of him. Uh, do you think Hayden would have used phones in his music if he'd been alive today? Uh, it's, 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 oh, dear. Um, I'm, I'm so sorry. There, there was a point about 30 seconds back when I, when I could have firmly but politely got this interview back on the rails, but I, I erred on the side of good manners and let that vital opportunity slip. And now I seem to have lost control of it altogether, which is rather awkward because I'm the expert and you're not, and yet I seem to look like I'm out of my depth and you seem to be in charge, which can't be right. And is the piece fast or slow? Well, it starts... Allegro. Look, oh, God, help me. I, I see it now. This is all my fault. Wow, you're crying. I did this. It was me. I, I want to say to my peers, my colleagues, my wife and children, I'm so sorry. I didn't know it would lead to this. But, but I realise how this started now. It was me. I came up with the idea of the... <laughs> the Doctor Who prom. <laughs> oh, I like that one, especially the Daleks. I, I didn't realise. I, I didn't think that throwing one populist crumb to the pigeons would lead to <laughs> this grotesque charade. <laughs> to, to me at the proms, talking to someone from. Where on earth do you come from, Blue Peter? Atomic kitten. <laughs> oh. I, I should have seen the signs when I was the only one on the steering committee to veto the idea of throwing out anyone who claps between movements. I should have known then that I was heading to the dark side. How oh, will I look the Royal Academy in the eye again? There goes that traitor, they say. There goes Judas Velgado, the man who turned the proms over to Hoi Polloi and twisted what was once a glorious private elitist festival, our festival, into a disgusting commercial success. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so ashamed. All in the name of getting a few more wobbling bums on uncomfortable seats. I bet even the seats have changed. I bet they've got holders for your bucket of rubbish drink. Oh, God. It's all, all ruined. Blimey. Well, will you still be waving at the band or are you feeling too sad now? <laughs> I'll... <laughs> I'll be waving at the band. 